Um, for the skill analysis, our group is doing juggling. The purpose is for hand-eye coordination. elements of the preliminary movements and juggling is you need to have your knees bent, uh, you need to have your torso facing the appropriate way, it needs to be forward, you want to have even distribution of weight on both feet, you want to be ready to move and you need to be ready to anticipate um, the ball movement so that you can react properly, um, you need to have good eye contact with the ball and you need to be fully focused. Um, the key elements of the back, of the back swing and recovery are that you need to position and prepare your arms um, or your levers to throw um, the ball. You need to have your eye on the ball and as you're throwing, you're shifting your weight from side to side. The key elements in the force producing movements are you need to use joints from smallest to largest, so you're only using your upper body and you're using your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. Um, and the more force that's applied, the higher the ball's gonna go. Um, the key elements of the critical instant, instant is um, is when the ball leaves the hand. So you need to have the eye on the ball and the connection between the ball and the hand um, is determined by the previous movements. And the key elements of the follow through is your hand needs to follow through the way the ball wants to go. Um, your body movements need to be controlled and you need to maintain balance. Um, you need, you're slowing down your body movements, but you also need to gather your body in the next position because the ball, the next ball comes quickly. The definition, the definition of the stability principle is that the lower the center of mass, the larger the base of support, the closer the center of mass is to the base of support, and the greater the mass, the more the stability increases. Uh, how it applies to juggling. Um, the individual is more stable when their center of gravity is over their base of support. If not, they become unstable and it is harder to catch the ball. It is also easier to juggle when the center of gravity is over the base of support and on a stable, uh, not a stable surface such as concrete. So another principle in juggling is the summation of joint forces principle. So the definition of this principle is that um, in order to generate maximum power, you need to use your joints from largest to smallest, um, and you need to use all the joints that can be used, must be used. Uh, so in juggling, you need to use um, your shoulders and your hands and your arms, so from largest to smallest, and you need to be able to use your upper body to generate force. Um, however, in juggling, it's not really the goal to generate maximum force. Uh, you want to develop kinesthetic awareness of knowing how hard to throw the ball. Um, and this comes with practice, so it'd be hard for a rookie to do. Um, but for example, if you throw the ball with as much force as you can and try to juggle, it won't be easy. The motor concepts used to teach the rookie are blocked because the rookie is taking trials under the same conditions. The conditions do not vary like in the random practice. Also, the rookie is learning the whole method, um, learns entire skill all at once. The factors that affected the rookie learning was distraction, people are talking and walking around them, um, a lack of hand-eye coordination, they were nervous, the fear of being watched on camera, and inappropriate clothing, the footwear, the boots were too clunky, and the clothes were heavy. The rookie is still in the cognitive stage because the rookie is still trying to understand the basics of juggling. There are still large errors being committed. The movements are slow, deliberate, and they lack timing. Um, it requires the full attention to juggle. So the rookie's errors um, when performing juggling is that um, I lack even distribution of weight when trying to juggle. Um, my hands after throwing the ball did not follow through in the direction that I wanted the ball to go in. Um, so I wasn't able to have ball to hand um, connection because there are no previous fluent movements. Um, there was no kinesthetic awareness, um, so I didn't understand on how hard or soft to throw the ball, so no touch. And there was a lack of stability because my center of gravity was not over my base of support.
Although Danielle was unable to improve in three ball juggling, we did see some improvements in juggling with two balls. After this case study with Danielle, it is clear that juggling is a skill that takes more than a couple class periods to figure out. Um, it took me a whole summer to learn to juggle. Um, it takes naturally gifted hand-eye coordination and is very complex to three-ball juggle.